Chuck, time for another explainer. I'm all about it. Something that's been on many people's minds for a long time. And what is that? It is, can you get to space without using a rocket? The energy it would take to get anywhere else in the solar system has to have enough fuel to burn after you've burned the fuel that lifted that fuel to a high. You have the space elevator, so you need this track that goes from the surface of the Earth up to the space elevator. It has to be able to hold its own weight. 23,000 miles of cable. That's crazy. Dangling, right. and it's got to hold it up. Mm. And so it's got to be strong. Steel is not strong enough to do this. That makes sense. It's strong. But right. not it will collapse under its own weight. Under its own weight, it can't, it do it. can't do it. It will have to be extremely strong, but also from a molecular standpoint, very, very light. Yes. And there is one thing that has the strength to weight ratio. Get out. Carbon nanofibers. A few years back, a chemist discovered a new form of carbon that we had never seen before. Are you serious? Yeah. And it's a molecule that has 60 carbon atoms. Oh. When they analyze the structure mm -hmm. of the 60 atoms, they're at the vertices of the surface of a sphere oh. that tracks very closely the stitching. In a soccer ball. Interesting. It is a mixture of hexagons and pentagons on Please the surface. Subscribe for more interesting videos.